I'm sure that a lot of us that play this game always wanted to see how the game originally looked, um, especially Shumen Old version, as we know basically our version of the game is badly translated copy of Shumen Old version and it keeps getting modified and basically they, it's completely different from what original is. Um, but yeah, basically I've stumbled upon this video or I should say clip completely by accident like few years back and I've saved it and I believe this is like perfect time to do a little bit of a retrospect how Shumenol looked on the launch or that is beta version because this video was a basically very first promo video for their beta launch which happened on 27 January of 2007 and their uh, actual game launch happened sometime in March 2007 but I couldn't find the exact date as it wasn't listed but hopefully I find it um, but yeah here in this little clip promo I would say um, we can see a lot of changes like all of those old 3D models, how the mobs originally looked like because there is a few of them that got changed. And as you can see from the thumbnail, Tamer and Assassin were not created at all. So basically they didn't even exist in the first place, which if we think about it, um, core of every MMORPG game is to have a tank, a damage dealer and a healer. So we can understand their starting point and their view idea of how it should look like but eventually they released assassin and tamer um which if we think about it a little bit um they are always were like hybrids especially assassin it it could tank but it wasn't nowhere good as monk in tanking also it could do damage but it was nowhere good as wizard in damage so you could see same example with Tamer, it always had those medium uh, defenses, um, not the best mana, um, but yeah, it had Tamed Pet, uh, which it does to this day, uh, but you could really see that the a lot went into the development later on but the base idea for what how it looked like actually was really cool so do not prolong it any further ado uh let's look at the very first schumann old trailer Uh, you can even see the very first uh, loading screen uh, when you enter the game, like, I really wish they bring this back, uh, it's really nostalgic, uh, I would really like that somebody, like, they could make maybe a, let's say, a relaunch of this very first iteration of the game, that would be really cool that somebody makes like a private server and runs it, uh, with the original, um, the drop rates and stuff and combined being max on plus seven and having all those mechanics that if you fail uh, combine your minus goes down uh, it would be really cool to see all of that once again <laughs> So here we can see there's nowhere Assassin and Tamer to be seen because they weren't created at all. So yeah, imagine the game without those two classes, like... I guess without Assassins it would be fine, but without Tamer it would be really weird because we know how strong Tamers are nowadays, especially in Wars and in PvE, so basically... It would be something else, let's say. <laughs> Here we can see the old layout of Stone City, which it had way more space than it does nowadays because they have added a ton of NPCs for different functions. They've added a lot of the 
models, um, stones, poles, trees, and stairs, a bunch of stuff basically to decorate it because it was basically a flat, uh, as we can see, tiled surface and you had a ton of space which was cool and it was also a green area as is now. Um, but yeah, I wish we got this back, like, at the very least for a patch or two, but they probably won't do this because it's going to be a lot of pain to revert to this model. And also we can see the, uh, if you see this lava effect around, this is wizard casting fire barb skills. So basically it had the under this underground lava effect which got removed, uh, reason why I don't know, I would say maybe they wanted this effect under the target it attacks instead of the caster of the skill, but it was really cool, I don't know why they removed it, another thing that I wish we would get once again, or if not if they return it. <laughs> And yeah, here we can see um, how the effect looked entirely, basically really cool, um, a lot of, may maybe it was too much of an effect, I would say, I don't know, but man, this, this, this looks really cool, this would look amazing nowadays. Uh, here we can see the original create loading screens for each class, uh, basically they had the different backgrounds because each class started at the different place, Monks had green scarps, fairies had flowers mountain, tamers had darkness valley, wizards had the golden peak mountain and assassins had blue mountain, but our version basically got all that shoved into green scarp in sometimes late 2008 basically just to make it easier for everybody i guess because a lot of people at the start got confused where to go um but i wish they could bring this back i know they won't um for the obvious reasons um they removed all the mobs and the npcs from blue mountain so basically assassins were the very first class that got moved to green scarp um then then eventually they moved all the classes and in 2016 they removed all mobs and npcs from golden peak mountain so basically the only two original maps that we got left are for tamers and fairies in darkness valley and the flowers mountain so if you wanna go visit there to see how the mobs and npcs look like and even you have quests still there if it corresponds to your class so you can do an exploration there as well, before they remove it, which I'm pretty sure they will at some point. Here we can see, uh, I would think this is a green scarp, because it has this Buddha in the fog statue. Um, a lot changed, as we know, especially green scarp, it went through already two or three complete map redesigns so if we were to compare the very first version to our current version we wouldn't really could recognize which map it is basically the only pinning point that we could say it is a green scarp are the mobs there um but yeah really nostalgic even the music itself you can hear um we used to have this, we don't anymore, they removed it, um, I don't know why, maybe they had problem with the censorship, or the, they couldn't really pay the copyright or get the right on this music, um, but yeah, it's a shame, but at least we have this to remember how it looked. <laughs> Now this gargoyle, um, I have over the years passed through this one a ton of times, but now I cannot remember where it's located or even if it exists in game anymore, so 
If somebody remembers, please let me know. I'll go straight up there and revisit it and take a few screenshots. <laughs> this is most likely green scarp because it makes sense um there are buddhas it's for monk um basically it would be his birthplace so this is most likely green scarp like by the looking just at the background it makes sense <laughs> And here we can see the create character screen that basically had a different background for each corresponding class. Um, we had this back in 2000, up to the 2008 when they changed the look so that each create a class background was the same, which I wish they bring this back at the very least, like they could update those 3D models, well, I yeah, I believe those are 3D models, um, so basically they could just re-update -up them and implement them so it looks at least a little bit versatile, like we are not asking for um, the commands and the click boxes, we are just, it would be really cool that we get at the very least the backgrounds back. <laughs> Um, this is Flowers Mountain, as we can see here, um, it looks nothing like today. Basically, they changed the color of the grass, they have updated the trees. Um, there is still one area like this, um, but the models are, are completely different for the trees and for the grass and for the ground. So, yeah, we can really see that everything got updated and changed. Um, but it would be really cool if we can get this version um, with just the updated graphics. That would be like, I would play this any day of the week. <laughs> If we could see a this mob right here, uh, if somebody remembers this was their original look, how they looked, especially the Kako Demon mobs and the, I believe they were called Ghost Elves. Basically they were dead corpse zombies that floated in the air. Um, and nowadays they have changed them into what the hell print mobs look like. Basically those crystalline things that I don't even know what they are. Um, and, and another change that they have done to mobs. Um, if somebody remembers how the originally the Tyrant of Zombie World Boss looked. Basically he was a fully wrapped mummy that had a cursed seal glued on its head. Um, also, the mobs on the, I believe, Fantasy Palace area, in front of the Fantasy Palace, look the same, only they were recolored. Um, why they did this, I would say it's probably due to censorship, because they looked really too grotesque, and they really looked, uh, let's say, religious, with those cursed seals. Um, so basically, when they launched the game internationally, well, especially our version, um, they had to do a censorship because they tried and they went towards game being more kid-friendly, which it is what it is at the end of the day, but the model 
of those mobs really look cool and I remember them because I was playing maybe four to five months in the game when they changed them to what they look nowadays which I was like really eh like was this was it really needed like are kids gonna really get that scared of a pixel like it was lame change but eh, whatever it is what it is I believe this statue is changed towards this mob, well actually elite mob, um, and the way you can find out is basically, especially if you, if you are in sand village, if you in settings put the shadows to high, you can see that there is a lot of shadows but there's actually nothing there, basically they have removed a lot of things, probably those were bones of the dinosaurs or zombies or corpses or whatever. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff got removed. However, they didn't remove the shadow aspect. So basically you can, if you put shadows on high in the settings, you can really see that there's where the traces basically where those removed stuff existed. but. The most of them are in Sand Village, so go check it out for yourself, you will be shocked how many there is. <laughs> nostalgia trip way back into 2007 um so this is my point uh Schumann all started with three classes they are currently sitting now on seven most likely in a two years or so they will have eight class developed and released but we only thing that we got was sometimes around January of 2008 we got a male, a female wizard. And that was really it. Now, do I expect that we get new classes? No. Uh, and the reason for that is because Spirit Fox and Tian Jing were created under the new game models. For which, if we were to get, the game would need a complete graphics overhaul, which we most likely won't get, um, but what we could get is Male Tamers, and the reason for that is Male Tamer was created on Schumann All during the old graphic model, basically the current model that we have, um, so... That would be really only hope that we could get. Aside from that, I really do not see getting a, that we get a Spirit Fox or Tian Jing especially. Um, would it be cool? Yeah. We need diversity in the game. We need more new stuff uh, to do to, let's say, keep the players around. But... It doesn't look very good, like even if, I would be even shocked if we would get a male tamer because it was released 8 years ago on Schumann All um, and we still didn't get it, so what are they waiting, I don't know, maybe they are waiting it to release under some big update or something. We can only sit and pray and hope that we get it, but yeah, time will tell how all plays out. So yeah, um, that's going to be it for today's video, hopefully you had a cool nostalgia trip as I did, and as always, if you found this video entertaining, uh, you can feel free to like, share and subscribe, and as always, um, feel free to leave your 
thoughts in the comments below and until the next time i will see you in the game have a good one